How can you plan and schedule all your content using Cloud Campaign? In today's video, I'm taking you behind the scenes of a real life example, how I schedule and plan content for clients using one of my favorite tools, Cloud Campaign. I'm also sharing with you how you can do the analytics reports with a few clicks. So let's dive right in. As promised, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how I schedule the content, but let me give you a quick overview of the tool first. Here is my logo from the social shell, and this could be your logo. So Cloud Campaign lets you white label this tool, and it is really helpful when you work with different clients because you add all your different clients here. So at one point, you can be in one client doing all the content, doing all the scheduling, and then you just move to the other client with a few clicks and you can give different people different access. Now obviously you can send a login to your client and then they can access stuff but I want to show with you how you can share reports and anything else even approvals without them actually having to log in because we all know it's always a hassle for them to create logins and then they forget their password. So this is super easy. Now I'm gonna share with you the content library, etc., in a minute because that's when we go through the actual process. And then on the approval part, I'm gonna also share that with you from the client's point of view. So here we have the publishing part where we're actually just gonna um, see the schedule or when we wanna post something, we can do it in here. What I mean with schedule is we can create different time slots. So for example, I could say, hey, every um, Tuesday till Friday at 6.30, I want a podcast to be published or I want a book inspo to be published. So I have different categories and they are being posted at specific time slots. In here, you can do such a great reporting from different categories. And what that means is Basically, you are giving your pieces of content a category, aka your content pillar. So this specific client has a book podcast and is sharing different things about books. So I created different categories and what I can do now when I go into the analytics report, let me show you this down here. I can actually do the analytics by category. So now I can see, okay, the most used category was podcast. This is a pretty new account. But when you look at the most viewed categories, it's actually book recommendations. So that's so important to know because now I can tell the client, hey, we want to create more book recommendation videos, right? So this is very unique that you can have this category report. Now, obviously you can have all different kinds of reports in here. So within one click, it gives you all the stats. You can do it by account overview. You can do it by post performance itself. You can also do it by hashtags to see what kind of hashtags have we used the most and which ones have the best performance and how it will look like from the client's point of view, I'm gonna share with you at the end. So now let's do a quick walkthrough on how I schedule the content for my clients. I'm going to click create content and then I'm going to upload a video. 12 seconds later. Now that I have this video, I'm going to click next and I'm going to write the captions. Now I'm going to do this specific video only on Instagram. However, I can add TikTok, Facebook, etc. And then I can publish it on all different channels and I can give a caption either for all channels or just for one channel. I can also say, hey, I actually want you to write me the caption. So I could say, write a caption about a book recommendation. I can tell it how many captions I wanted to write. I can regenerate the captions and I can save the captions or just use, I can also edit them. Or if I don't want any of that, I can also just simply write my own caption. Now that I have the captions, I want to add different hashtags and you can save your hashtags in the tool. So when you go in here, you see again, I have already some different category for hashtags, depending on what category I am going to post so that I have the matching hashtag. So I'm going to click maybe romanticy and then I could do book talk. So now I'm just going to add some hashtags in here. You can see it takes a few clicks and then my hashtags are in here. 
gonna click next and then you will do the actual categories so now i'm gonna see okay this is actually a book recommendation and it's romanticy so i'm gonna add that so that the stats can tell me next time how this video performed and again i can choose which account i want to put it on and right now this is only for instagram so i have it here so now that this is created within a few clicks I can send this to my client and I can send this with one click only and I'm going to show you now how it looks like from the client POV. Pav, you are the client. So now that the client has approved the content, I can go into my approvals and check whether they have approved the content or not. And you can see they have approved it. When I click on it, it shows me approved. So now I can just schedule this content and it's done. Now let's go to my favorite part, sharing analytics with my client. So we're going to go down here to the monitor and instead of going to analytics, we're going to go to report. And I already clicked created a report that is from the last month. So I'm going to use this one here, but I'm going to just click copy link because I want to share with you how it looks like from the client point of view. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to open a new incognito window for you guys so that you can see how it will look like for the client. So they don't have to be logged in. You don't have to create a Canva report. You have to do nothing. The tool does everything for you. And now this is how the client sees it. So again, you will have your logo go here it will say your name or your agency's name and then the client will have this overview here and they can even further break it down the inside so they can also go on the hashtags and see like okay these are the hashtags that have performed best and like I said my favorite part the categories they can go in here and they see okay this post type is performing the best so we should do more of that so your categories are going to be the same as your content pillars and that will help you move your strategy forward. Your client can just go in here, look at the stats, see what's working, what isn't working. And that way you can schedule your content super fast, create analytics with a few clicks. So test it out with the link below and let me know how you like it.